Lisa Evart, coming from Finland, uh, Business Finland, and I am a legal and financial NCP. My topic is uh, exploitation, dissemination and communication. And this is one of the webinars that are coming from Bridge to Horizon Europe uh, project. I'm uh, um, trying to um, I'm trying to explain you how to find the information that you need for these topics. So I'm going through the model grant agreement and Annex 5 in order to, to show the places uh, where this information is that you can um, uh, find them easily. First of all, we need to know what we are talking about when we are talking about the exploitation, dissemination and communication. They are, uh, the definitions are in Annex 5. In, uh, well, you should know by now that the, the structure of the model grant agreement is that there is first the data sheet that all the project specific um, uh, details are. Then there are, then there is a um, kind of uh, funding terms and conditions, the core part of, of the model grant agreement, and after that are annexes. And Annex 5 is specific rules and uh, uh, provisions concerning exploitation, dissemination and, uh, and dissemination were in, in the core part of model grant agreement in uh, uh, Horizon 2020 agreement, but now they are moved, transferred into the Annex 5. Uh, they are not changed very much because as Commission has said in, in several occasions, this is not a revolution, it's an evolution. So it means that uh, the text itself and, and the requirements are not changed uh, uh, radically, but uh, still there are some changes. But anyway, they are not in the articles inside the core part anymore. They are in Annex 5, but they are still as uh, um, mandatory as they used to be. Well, exploitation is the use of results in further research and innovation act activities, other than those covered by the action, action uh, concert. So it means that any kind of use of, of the results that are generated in the project, they are uh, they are called an exploitation. It's not only commercial exploitation, it's also the exploitation that you use for further research. And then dissemination. I have uh, several other definitions coming, but uh, these are from the next five. And dissemination is public disclosure of the results by appropriate, appropriate means. And they are other than resulting from the protecting or exploiting the results. So, for example, when the, the patent application come, comes public, it's not dissemination. And then we have communication. And communication is uh, sometimes a little bit uh, in gray area. What is communication? Because it's not defined properly. It's not uh, very distinct uh, definition, it's something that has been explained otherwise. So from this Annex 5, you cannot find any specific uh, um, definition for that. Okay, so where to find these de definitions and Annex 5? As you can see in my presentation, there are lots of hyperlinks, so it's easy to go these uh, um, documents from here. But from funding and tender opportunities portal, because the portal is something that you need to use a lot in, in your own work. Uh, and these uh, documents, model grant agreement and, and Annex 5, they are all you can find from the funding and tender portal from, uh, under the how to participate point. And from there you go 
to the reference documents. And you need to choose the period and program. Uh, in Horizon 2020, um, during the Horizon 2020, it was quite easy to, to use the funding and tender portal because they were all in, in one place. But now when uh, these uh, um, different programs have been united and, and there are different uh, time periods, so you can find all the legal documents and all the reference documents that goes to the Horizon 2020 and, and even to the uh, framework program seven. And, and so now you have to choose uh, 2021 to 2027 and find the Horizon Euro program. Then you can find the right reference documents. And then you um, choose grant agreements and contracts. And there under that, there is Annex 5. Most important articles in Annex 5 is uh, for exploitation and dissemination are Article 16 and 17. And to understand the importance of these uh, um, uh, articles is that of exploitation, there is something like seven pages text for that. And for the dissemination, there is something like three and a half pages uh, to explain what are the requirements for, for the dissemination. So it's uh, more than 10 pages uh, for, for these two issues and it, tells us a little bit about the importance of that. And as I said, Annex 5 is uh, the same as specific rules. In several of the, for example, commission um, presentations, there are set specific rules and it's always question about Annex 5. More about the definitions. This is the slide I borrowed from uh, uh, commission um, webinar that was held in 21st of April. It was very popular and, and they had extremely good um, slides and that's why I have them in my presentations as well. First of all, exploitation in this right side. Uh, this is the same definitions as we saw already. But then these two bullets here are a little bit more explanation for the issue. So uh, first of all, you need to recognize the exploitable results and the stakeholders identify the value added from their use. Um, for the exploitation, um, the benefit for the exploitation, there is a new, uh, uh, new provision coming and it's ROL, that is uh, um, results uh, ownership list. This is new that didn't exist in Horizon 2020 program. So now in, uh, if, uh, so that you are capable of uh, doing the exploitation properly as commission is requiring, it means that you have to do at the end of the, the project, you need to have a list of uh, owners of for each result. And then uh, partners can exploit their results or let them being exploited by interested third parties. This is also one issue that this like um, um, ideal uh, novelty. And it means that you have to exploit the results yourself and you have to kind of build up the proposal in order to show how you how you are going to exploit the results and what kind of measures and what kind of tools you are using that for that but if you can't do if you um if you fail or if you don't know how to or if you don't see it uh, justified or uh, if it's not in your interest at all to do the exploitation you have to do you have to do all you can to find someone else to do the exploitation for the results so uh, the uh, the requirements are not finished um, for that point that okay i have tried all my best i have given my best effort to do the exploitation, but couldn't 
find any way to, to exploit my results. So that's not the end of the story. It continues in a way that, OK, you have to find someone else. You have to do your best to find someone else who could do the exploitation. About the dif dissemination uh, of these definitions and, and the difference be between dissemination and communication, the dissemination is more or less uh, the um, publications. It's for your peers. It's more scientific. It's uh, within the, the circles that the researchers and, and like professionals are, are uh, do, um, living and, and doing their work. So um, this is more like circulation of knowledge and results to the ones that can best make use of them. So it's more detailed and more professional knowledge that you have a responsibility to, to disseminate. Uh, and compared to communication, that communication is uh, more like reach out to society as a whole and demonstrate how EU funding contributes to tackling the societal channel challenges. So, um, the difference between dissemination and communication may be explained, for example, that dissemination is something that is answering the questions, scientific questions and, and technological questions and, and questions inside the research circles and academic circles, for example. But communication is something that it's, uh, it's for the whole society. It's for, for the economic and societal good uh, for all of us in, in Europe. But nevertheless, uh, the dissemination is quite often in, in the proposals is very well explained. How many articles, in, in what channels, how we use open access. It's, it's quite clear for the researchers and, and, and consortiums how to do the dissemination. But communication is as important as, as dissemination. It needs to uh, add value do your project and it needs to be coherent uh, for for the topic you have in, in in your action in your project so it also um it also requires um knowledge how to do the the, the activities to communicate about your project to the big bigger audience And one issue that was explained uh, quite, I think, quite fast in in the in the commission commission webinar was this uh, key impact pathway, uh, and also the proposal, the exploitation and dissemination activities uh, at your proposal should be and should follow the key IP, that is key impact pathway. We have heard, we all have heard about key PIs, that is key performance indicators, but this is this has almost nothing to do with these issues. So uh, sometimes they these um, these acronyms are uh, uh, um, mixed. So key IP and key PIs, they are they are not the same. Key impact pathway is a novelty that has been introduced for Horizon Europe. And I have uh, simplified a little bit the, the slides that we all saw, or those who follow the, the presentation of Commission. I have simplified a little bit that um, uh, presentation. And uh, here the first, first box is about implementation. We put all the input, we put funding and resources and inf infrastructure and everything to implement the actions and we generate results. That is all more or less during the action and during the project and it's uh, it's the implementation that is um, um, how should I say it's it's the focus it's the core of the whole project and then but in the proposal the dissemination and explanation has to be explained and built in a coherent way. But it's not enough to, to explain 
how to explode or how to disseminate. So this how to is just a tool that you need to find the effects and that's the, the path. That's the key impact path where the impact comes from uh, impact comes from uh, the point that you need to explain what we are going to have this project contribution to the expected impact impact need to be something that is measured how many percent you are going to have more of this how much this is going to increase how much we can produced it with less energy. So they are some kind of uh, numerical um, betterments or improvements that you can have through the exploitation. And also the project contribution to its expected outcome. And these are important, these effects, because they come from the work program. And this is a, a very important in a way that when you are when when uh, the uh, the propo proposals are written, there need to be answers to these effects. There need to be answers uh, of the challenges that have been uh, uh, introduced in the work programs. So it's not enough to find the scientific impact. It's not enough the the research groups to to come up with the um, exploitation ideas and dissemination measures that uh, are targeted only for the scientific impact. They are as important impacts are societal impact and economic impact. And work programs are the key uh, key elements to understand that when the proposals are written, there are these this kind of impact that uh, European Union and European Commission are looking for. And those are the expected outcomes and expected incomes. And if the proposal is written so that you can answer uh, for scientific impact, but societal and economic impact, then it's quite strong to proposal. Um, the strategic approach is something that uh, I, I'd like to say a few words. So um, first of all, exploitation in model grant agreement is uh, uh, the protection of results is must. So it's an obligation. And this obligation is valid for during the, the project, but uh, uh, more or less uh, four years after the after the project. Um, what I mean with this strategic uh, strategic approach is that it's it's not enough that uh, proposals in, is introducing all these normal uh, exploitation options or uh, protection options. So we we are applying for patent and we do the publications and we open the websites and uh, all these are only tools. More important is that in the proposal, the the approach is strategic. So that what what is the the, the project and what are these expected outcome and expected incomes that all the protection measures, all the exploitation measures and everything that uh, will be introduced in the proposal should uh, contribute and should be coherent and should be logic, logical end of this story. So because it is in the narrative part, so they should be a, a, a chain that all these points are supporting each other. Um, if there is, uh, for example, the, the policy is that it's completely open, 
uh, that you are using open source, for example, and everything. So why you are using lines for um, for for the, for um, protection so much? If you are using um, if you are using a patent, then you need to take care of the confidentiality and what part of the confidentiality is used. That's that's very very strategic issues that should be already discussed before uh, the write the the proposals. Okay, so uh, as I said, the exploitation of results is must issue in in um, model grant agreement. So it it goes with all the projects. If the success is not um, uh, ac um, if if you, you don't get success within a year after the pro uh, project end, there is a horizon results platform you can use, or all the projects may use. So far, of course, there is no results from Horizon Europe uh, project, but I I strongly encourage people to go to to check what kind of uh, um, results you can find there. And uh, it's uh, you. Uh, it's uh, available from uh, in uh, funding and tender opportunities portal uh, as all of these um, issues. And under the projects and results. And here are four points that uh, are important. The Horizon Results platform is for results, not for projects. Um, it's not to introduce the projects or find um, partners. It's not for networking for the project, but it, uh, networking for the exploitation of results. Uh, there's five minute videos you can down, uh, download there and uh, put, uh, everybody can put uh, uh, um, uh, keywords that uh, so you can find them and also you can use search filters for, uh, according to the country and according to the team and so on. There is no that's a, a quality check uh, um, on behalf of the commission. It means that it's up to you how how good video you produce to the results platform. But of course, uh, um, the main point is that you you put all the uh, keywords so that investors, partners, companies may find you. There also may be uh, additional exploitation obligations. They are in call conditions, and all of these conditions need to be answered in in the proposal. One of the novelties is this uh, public emergency. Um, it's um, if uh, there it is said in the uh, call um, documents that this uh, project may include this uh, public emergency issue, then you cannot avoid uh, the obligation that the results may be asked to, to uh, provide non-exclusive licenses. This is one of the COVID-19 um, novelties, novelties, but it's not only for health, health purposes. They may be others as well. All these um, additional exploitation obligations and, and other specificities that comes along the work programs or call documents are always uh, written in in the data seed of the model grant agreement. But anyway, uh, um, in the proposals, there, sh there need to be uh, a note for that. About the admissibility of uh, plan for the exploitation and dissemination of results, I'm not going to explain more than this that I have in this slide, because in, in general annex, 
And this is one one thing, as I said already in, in the beginning, that these um, uh, provisions and obligations and also um, um, guidance for the exp exploitation, dissemination and communication issues, they are not to be found only in one document. They are now here and there. They are in, for, first of all, there are rules for participation. That's the, the main document for that. But anyway, they are in model grant agreement. They are in, in Article 16 and 17. They are Annex 5, you can find them. They are work program and, and call documents and general annex. So uh, this, um, this entity, uh, if you say, uh, needs to be checked from several sources. It's not one paper that if you see the article in Model Grant Agreement, it's all clear and done. So all these like five source documents need to be checked. Um, Model Grant Agreement, Annex 5, that it's a um, part of the Model Grant Agreement, and work program and call documents and general annex. Unfortunately, it, uh, so to say, IPR articles, as people quite often call them, they are uh, a little bit divided. Anyway, the plan for the exploitation and dissemination of results is uh, it's mandatory document, and Heli Kangas will uh, explain more about that. Um, the plan is not required for applications in the first place if the call is for two states uh, um, in, in two states evaluation. And here again, we come to this strategy for exploitation. So the closer the project is uh, like a ready uh, products or services or markets, because the, uh, it depends a little bit of of uh, the the results and a little bit of the um, how should I say it, their levels. So uh, how how ready the technology or the, the processes are to the market, then the the approach needs to be even more strategic and. In that case, you have to explain it in, in a plan for the exploitation and dissemination. Um, and the fourth point I, I wanted to explain here, that if uh, the exploitation is uh, foreseen to happen in the third countries, uh, non, uh, in not it, that means that it's not EU member state or it's not associated country. At the moment, there are, I think, 14 countries that are going uh, going through the negotiations if they have an association agreement with uh, with the Commission, with the EU, that then the associated countries are, are more or less the same, uh, po at the same position and as the member states. And the third countries are all the countries outside this circle then you have to uh, explain why you why you are um, having this exploitation measures outside outside these circles and and how they are still um, answering the eu interest um, more or less this is explaining this societal impact and economical impact because they need to target uh, the european union most and foremost, but if it's outside European Union and associated countries, then it it requires a little bit expl explanation. Results and research outputs, I put it into this material just to, to show from where to find these, uh, uh, these definitions. There are a lot of uh, obligations linked to the results and there are a lot of uh, uh, obligations linked to the research outputs, and they are a little bit different. These research outputs we come come again when we are talking about a data management plan. There, there is a data issues quite a lot uh, concerning the this, but the results are 
all the, uh, the tangible and intangible effect of the action. Then we go a little bit for the dissemination and communication. This I, I referred a little bit earlier already, and this is also borrowed from the Commission's presentations, and it's easily explained here, uh, or easy explanations here that dissemination is for the results and, and more or less for the peers, the scientific peers. And communication is more to the project and about the results and for the multiple audiences. This is very good slide, so I wanted to include it in my presentation as well. Also, I have two slides from the same presentation from the Commission, and I wanted to uh, include it into this presentation um, to explain a little bit more about the dissemination and explanation, how to measure uh, uh, measures to maximize, how to maximize these uh, dissemination and explanation, exploitation measures in, in the proposal and in the project. Of the communication, it's important to understand this and, and, and make familiar yourself with this because the communication measures are not uh, def they, they don't have definitions in the model grant agreement and also because we don't have a annotated model grant agreement yet. So this is more or less uh, the only guidance from the Commission side at, at this point, what it means uh, to have the communication measures to maximize the impact and maximize the, uh, your, uh, the excellence in, in your proposal. So that's why I have this slide here, because uh, this is, I think, the best explanation so far. What is the communication? How, how we should uh, approach this issue? I think all these texts will be included in an annotated model grant agreement later on, but at the moment we still don't have that document, so that's why it's it's good to understand it through this explanation. About the cost of the dissemination, just a few words. Um, first of all, about the dissemination, they are the activities that must be agreed between the cooperating partners. So dissemination is an obligation and there are uh, specific requirements in this Annex 5. But anyway, in the consortium, in all the uh, multi-beneficiary project, it, it's essential that, that the participants, the beneficiaries are agreeing together how to come up with what kind of dissemination activities and at which point of the project and which point after the project end uh, they they will be done because uh, this is something that uh, needs to be shown in the proposal that they are coherent and and that everybody understands their own um, uh, confidential uh, confidentialities and, and their loyalties uh, within each other. And then the, about the cost, the dissemination cost goes to other goods, works and services. Uh, I put here the novelty that publication fees, uh, these um, um, author processing fees and others are not reimbursable in hybrid journals. So uh, these open access issues came step by step to these framework programs already in seventh framework program, and they became more and more uh, best practice and, and normal practice during the Horizon 2020. And now again, the open science issues take one step forward. Uh, but at the same time, these are some, some uh, um, restrictions what uh, what costs are reimbursable uh, the hybrid journals are not forbidden to, uh, that um, 
they may be used, but uh, the costs are not reimbursable. There are some restrictions also from the granting authority. So as as we know, the 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 granting authority, for example, commission, they uh, can use the information coming from the uh, coming from these uh, projects for the info information purposes, communication purposes. They can use this as uh, as when they are telling about the success stories and so on. And one novelty is also here that uh, if they are expected a major media impact then you have to inform the granting authority before these uh, uh, um, expected impact. Also, you can find from these uh, articles of the grant agreement, the visibility rules and disclaimer. This means that uh, the emblem, the EU emblem and, and uh, the Note, notice that, okay, this project has received funding from this and this program. It should be always mentioned, but the disclaimer means that uh, of the results or the explo exploitation of the results, the Commission is not uh, responsible for. Ah, sorry. And then my last uh, slide is of links, because now uh, the model grant agreement version 1.0 has been published a few weeks ago. Uh, this is the whole. Um, uh, I had the hyperlink in the, the presentations before, but here is the whole link for that. It's still a PDF file. Commission uh, explained that it may be the uh, online, uh, the, uh, the E, e um, how should I? I don't know the name, but anyway, used in 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 internet. But at the moment, there is no work for that. So still, we are using the PDF file, and I don't know how long this will be. And uh, this goes also to the annotated model grant 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 agreement. And Horizon main work program. Uh, this general annexes I was I referred uh, it's the uh, um, annex 13 and maybe fine from here. And I have uh, several in several occasions I have uh, referred to uh, the webinars that Commission has had in first was in at the end of March and the other was end of uh, 21st of uh, April. Excellent webinars, very good presentations, and these two links go to the event pages, and all the the presentations are available from there. So I I I can recommend I can I can easily recommend to to use and benefit from these uh, um, webinars and 